Hey everyone, welcome back to another brand new episode. Today we'll be creating a simple poster design as always in Photoshop. And I'll try to come up with new tutorial every week. So if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel because it will help me a lot. And also, uh, if you want to support me on my Patreon, please check on the description list below. Uh, and one more thing, this PSD file, color lights, brushes and everything is available for my Patreon supporter. So check on that. So with that note, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop. First thing first, let's uh, create a composition. So for that, press Ctrl N. And I will just go by 8.5 over 11 inches, color mode to RGB and resolution to 300. And let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And right off that, let's drag and drop this main background image right over here. And let's uh, maybe minimize this one let's move this one over here and uh, uh, let's make it a little bigger Control g and let's keep it right over here and you know what let's make it a black and white image so Control u let's drop down the saturation all the way to minus 100 and let's add a background solid so let's keep it maybe something like darker color something like that and let's drop down the opacity maybe somewhere around here all right now after that let's drag and drop this image right over here Control t let's make it a little smaller let's keep it right over here let's make it a little smaller yep something like that and uh, let's minimize this one and let's see which one let's let's drag and drop this image right over here and let's minimize this one too and let's do some arrangement let's drag and drop this uh, layer under this layer too Control t let's make it a little bigger maybe let's add some rotation too yep i think this looks good to me and let's drag and drop this image right over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom Control t let's make it a little bigger Maybe some more bigger, yep, just, just like so. Let's make, pin them a little down, maybe right over here. All right, now let's minimize this one too. And let's see, let's drag and drop this image right over here. Let's keep it maybe somewhere over here, Control T. Let's make it a little bigger. Yep, let's keep it right over here and let's keep this above this layer and let's make it yep, I think let's keep it maybe right over this size and let's bring them all over right over here Right now let's drag and drop this image right over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom Control G Yep Something like that, let's make it a little smaller And let's bring that a little down Let's drag and drop this image right over here Now Control G, let's make it a little bigger Yep so more around this size yep and they yep. I think this looks good to me now let's do some adjustments so Let's select this layer, create a layer max, go to the brush and and go to my favorite powder explosion brush. So select this one and make sure the color is black and let's go to the layer max option and let's erase some of these hard edges. And let's do the same thing for other layer. Alright, now let's go to the very bottom, add a new layer, 
and let's increase the brush size and let's change the color to white and let's add some rotation and let's go to the eraser tool and let's erase some of these parts and let's create a new layer in right over here go to the brush and let's add the same thing under this layer and let's do another thing let's do some rotation too So let's get rid of these hard edges right over here so make sure the color is black let's do some rotation and let's erase these parts so just like so and from this main image let's uh, get back this trophy part yep just like so let's let's decrease the size just a little bit yep something like that now let's apply a color LUT so go over here add a color lookup and from here click on load and I'll just go for my mood LUT so select this one click on load so this is what we got and then let's go to the very bottom add a new layer and go to the brush again and this time I will just go and for another uh, particle brush so let's see yep I'll just go for this brush and let's make this a little bigger Let's add a one more layer. Control T. Let's add some rotation. And let's do the same thing right over here. Create a new layer. Let's make it a little smaller. Control T. Let's add some some rotation. And let's do a eraser tool. Go to press E for eraser tool. And let's erase some of these parts and let's create a one more layer again go to the brush and let's add some rotation and again eraser tool and let's erase some of these parts from here and now from here let's add a gradient map and from here let's go for blue and let's see let's go for I think I will just go for this color and let's change it to soft light and let's add a new layer go to the brush and let's go for a general soft brush and let's drop down the opacity just a little touch yep just like so now let's add a new layer and go to edit go to fill and let's go for 50% gray and let's change it to soft light and let's do some dodge and burn so I'll first I'll just go for dodge tool and let's add some dodge maybe right over here some on face maybe some right over here too some over here yep just like so add a new layer and go to the brush again with the general soft brush let's change the brush color to maybe kind of warmer tone yellow 
yep maybe something like that and let's add some right over here let's change the blending mode to soft light and maybe let's change the color to like more warmer let's change the color to yep to white change it to maybe like more yellow something like that and now let's do a final color touch up for each layer so select uh, maybe I'll just start with the very first layer so this one and let's go to filter and let's go to the camera raw filter and let's increase clarity just like so and let's increase color noise reduction let's increase the sharpening and noise reduction color noise reduction and noise reduction too and from here let's go to the saturation tab and let's drop down the saturation for orange and let's increase for reds just yep maybe just like so and let's click on ok and let's do the same thing for other layers so select other one filter go to the camera raw filter now let's merge all this layer Control shift alt and e and let's go to the filter and let's go for a filter gallery and from here let's go to the diffuse glow and maybe let's change the glow amount just a little bit maybe let's keep the glow maybe just just like so and let's click on ok and from here let's change the opacity just around that so this is before after maybe let's drop it a little more yeah just like so now let's add some text so go over here let's add a text and let's go for a soft brush and let's make this part a little darker and let's drop down the opacity just to make those text visible and let's go to the eraser tool and let's erase some of these parts yep now let's add a one more text on the very top the character let's make them let's create a new layer and go to the brush and let's do the same thing and let's drop down the opacity just like so let's change the blending mode to soft light
So yep, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.